Hello, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation course on Managed Workspaces. In this lesson, you will create and apply CSPs. This lesson will present the basics of initializing a managed workspace. That means creating at least one configuration settings block. So in this lesson, we will create and apply a CSB, open a file, and verify the managed workspace. The learning objectives in this lesson are to learn how to create a CSB, learn about a minimum configuration, and learn how to check if the managed workspace is loaded properly. Once a fully functional workspace has been imported into ProjectWise, only three variables need to be set. This corresponds to the variables required outside of ProjectWise. USTN configuration points to the root of the configuration. Then, rather than needing to pick the workspace and work set from a pick list, these items need to be assigned to variables. These are workspace name and work set name. We place the configuration in resources, CAD resources configuration. So we need to point USTN configuration to that location. We also created and used example redirection as the workspace. So we will just assign example redirection as the workspace name. For now, we will just use Metro Station as the work set name since we have not provided any redirection yet. We will do this in the next lesson. Before we proceed further, we need to change one of the imported files. If you remember, we added USTN work sets root equals company projects work sets to the example redirection CFG workspace config. If this is not bypassed, this will cause a lot of problems. So this needs to be commented out. We will walk through this in the demonstration. As we look at ProjectWise Explorer, we have our configuration folder. Under workspaces, we have example and example redirection as choices we can select. And then under work sets, for example, redirection, we have Metro Station. Let's go into ProjectWise Administrator and begin creating a CSB. Go to predefined, new configuration block. We will call this minimum connect configuration because we will be using connect variables. We'll click the apply button, then go to the configuration tab. The plus icon is used to add variables and directive. You see here we select the variable option. We'll put the variable name in the name definition line. Then we select the add button. And because we are using a project wise folder, we're going to select the project wise folder option and just browse to the folder. Here we go. Resources, CAD resources, configuration, select the OK button, click OK. But let's go back in and use the locked option to make, to make sure that the variable does not change. We'll add another variable. We need to add the USTN workspace name and work set name. So we've put the variable in, click add. This time we'll use the string option and simply type the name in. I like to actually come back in and click the rename button on the folder to make sure that I don't have any typos. So I just put example redirection on my clipboard. I toggle back to ProjectWise Administrator, paste in example redirection, select OK, select OK again to apply this, but I also select the locked 
option. We'll do very similar process here with the work set name. Click add. Put our Metro station on our Windows clipboard. Paste that in. Select OK. As well as the locked option. We can click apply and then click OK. And once we are done with that, we have created our configuration settings block. We now need to apply the configuration settings block to the folder so that it will permeate down to the files themselves. So we select Metro Station. We select the properties of that. We select the Workspace tab. And then we add the CSB that we created to that folder. Let's now go to our example redirection file and edit it as we indicated earlier. We check it out. We open it in Notepad or some other similar application. We simply put a pound in front of work sets root. We save that file then check it in. So once you've done all that, we're ready to test a file. Let's go into 3D models and select any of these files. I'm going to select alignment DGN. We just select open and we'll let the process start. You'll see that it starts downloading the files. That's a good sign. That means everything is working properly. Once the export process has completed, the dialog box will disappear and you should see the splash screen coming up. We then will just wait for the application to open. Once the application is open, check your active workspace and work set to make sure it aligns with your variables. Then go to Settings, Configuration, Configuration Variables, and we'll give that a second to come up. This usually takes a little bit in project-wise. Once the Configuration dialog box is opened, let's type in USTN at the top to filter on that name. We can then check a few of the variables. Let's go down and look at some of our workspace variables. We look at workspace root, that's correct. Works, workspace name, that's correct. Work set root, work set name. Let's then go down and check our standards variables, check workspace standards and work set standards, and those look okay. So let's just cut, close that dialog box. And we'll also just get out of the file. So we'll just show you, you can click close. You can check the file in. We can then exit out totally. Now let's see what happens when we open the file again. As this file is opening the second time, you notice that the export process dialog box does not appear. That's because it does a Delta file check and sees that the files have been already exported and therefore does not re-download those files. So the opening process is much quicker the second time. So let's see what we've learned this lesson. We created and applied CSBs. We verified the managed workspace. You learned how to create CSBs and learned 
how to create a minimum configuration. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.